News at 11, getting results. Millions across Georgia hunkering down as the first night of shelter in place gets underway. Good evening and thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Sean Gables. Hi everyone. I'm Alicia Roberts in for Rick tonight. Atlanta turning into a ghost town on this Friday night. We found the streets mostly empty as Georgians heed the warnings from Governor Kemp. His order requires everyone except essential workers to stay home and follow social distancing guidelines. Now there are some exceptions. You can still go to medical appointments, go out to pick up food and exercise. CBS 46's Jamie Kennedy is live for us tonight in Midtown, breaking down what you need to know. Jamie. Alicia, just look behind me here. This is 10th and Piedmont, usually on a Friday night. Huge crowds now. This is a ghost town. That's because everyone is hunkering down. That wasn't the case this evening around parks in the city. People confused about what they can and cannot do. Hours after the statewide shelter in place order took effect, city streets empty. Earlier in the evening, a different story. I don't know if they're doing exactly what they should be doing, especially here in the park. People still congregating in groups, most though sticking to the six feet rule and exercising alone. With so many orders from counties, the city and now the state. So it's making it really hard for people to just understand what they are and are not allowed, allowed to do right now. In the governor's order, it states the governor's order supersedes all local ordinances that conflict with the state's order. As far as policing the order goes, both APD and Gwinnett County Police say they are looking to educate and not add more stress to people's lives, but will act when needed. With this new order, the community feeling everyone needs to do their part in helping curb the pandemic. I haven't been down the belt line on purpose. I usually walk on the belt line, run on the belt line, but I don't go because it's hard to be six feet apart from anyone on the belt line. Bye. As far as groups inside, daycares, funeral homes and churches are allowed groups inside as long as it's 10 or less. Live in Atlanta, Jamie Kennedy, CBS 46 News. Jamie, thank you. Right now, the number of coronavirus cases is growing once again tonight to nearly 6,000. Right now, there are now a total of more than 5,900 confirmed cases statewide. It is a jump of nearly 2,000 cases since Tuesday. More than 1,200 patients are now hospitalized, and the death toll continues to rise with 198 people now dead. Also happening tonight, there's brand new guidance from the CDC urging all Americans to wear a non-medical mask or cloth face clothing. It comes after the World Health Organization and the CDC initially said masks should only be worn by medical professionals and the sick. Well, today the U.S. Surgeon General clarified, saying the guidance was changed to reflect growing evidence that people with no symptoms are passing the virus to others in close proximity. The cloth face coverings recommended are not surgical masks or N95 respirators. Those are critical supplies that must continue to be reserved for healthcare workers and other medical first responders. Meantime, the president says it is a voluntary suggestion. He has also acknowledged he will not use one himself. He also added that the new guideline does not replace recommendations on both social distancing and hand washing. Most masks are intended for one time use only, but the CDC says this elastical, elastic rather, surgical mask is most suitable for reuse. Wash your hands before and after putting on your mask. You should store it with the outside facing in and place it in a paper bag or breathable container. Any virus trapped on the mask will die on its own over time. N95 masks should be reserved for medical workers exposed to high viral loads. If you have any unused N95 masks, the CDC is asking that you donate it to a hospital. The mask is typically cleaned using ultraviolet light sterilizers and any hand washing or chemicals can degrade its use. And if you're looking to make your own mask, make sure to use enough fabric to cover the sides of your face and definitely below your chin. Again, wash your hands before and after putting it on to clean it, either hand wash with soap and air dry or throw it in the washing machine. 